We're back with the star of Resurrection Boulevard, Tony Plana. We're going to talk about how you got started, and to do so, we're going to use visual aids, Tony. So, Joanne, if you could show us some pictures here. Uh, this is of uh, Tony uh, as a child. So we're going to take you a few years back here, Tony. And uh, you were born in Cuba, right? While well, they're setting up. That's your family in Cuba. Yes. Correct. Uh, Baradero Beach. Really? The most and you remember beach that? In Cuba. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. See how and, happy I am? Yeah. And this is you uh, being inducted into the Army, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah they were Your Boy Scouts. They were desperate. Yeah, yeah that's you Scout. as a Boy Scout. And next, that's your family. Now, you're still in Cuba there, right? No, no. This is in Miami. You're already in Miami. Yeah. This is, these are all the people that are living in one house. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And you came out when you were eight years old, right? Eight years old. Okay. That's Let's my grandma behind me. And this, I'm graduating from eighth grade. Okay. Yeah, so you Los thought Angeles. you were going to be back in Cuba by now when you first came over? Because you told we me you thought, thought we'd be back in six months. Six months. It's funny, but I came home from uh, from school uh, during lunch because mm -hmm. we used to go home for lunch and mm -hmm. take a siesta after after lunch and then go back to school. And I came home for lunch, and my mother pulled out these suitcases from the closet mm -hmm. and said, "We're going to Miami for lunch." Oh, really? And I've been out to lunch for four <laughs> years. Now listen, how do you think that, that that sudden change impacted your life? You landed in the U.S., eight years old, and you spoke no English, of course, and um, you were immersed in English. And you told me you learned English in six months, About right? six months. I was translating for my parents in about six months. Yeah. I remember going from, you know, uh, trying to say, how do I sharpen this pencil in a classroom, to opening a door and saying, can I help you? Yeah. You know, and, and working with my And family. that's you with your mom? Yeah, this was How old in my, you right there? my hippie days, uh, college. You guys uh, have the same hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I inherited it from She her. wears it better, though. Yeah, she does, she does. Yeah, this nice. is, uh, and did you know you're going to uh, be an actor then? Uh, no. At that point? No, I didn't. You're, you're studying law. Law and, uh, yeah, literature and philosophy. Now, come on, you didn't know you wanted to be an actor. You I did not, you know, I was, you? I was, uh, I was, no, no, I was a straight A student and I was a scholarship student. And there and he is uh, graduating. Yes. Oh, and, he's so uh, determined. <laughs> <laughs> I learned English. See, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> you well, know, so a lot of you know, a lot of people today, like my sisters, when they came to this country, they were of uh, you know school age, and there's a lot to say for immersion. I mean, it can be traumatic, but people who learn through immersion. Uh, have a very, very strong grasp of English because there was never any teacher to translate for right. them. You know, it was right. really you had to learn and function. Or and we were the only, you know, few Latinos there in, in Miami at the time. Oh, so there were only a few? Yeah, there was only a few of us. I mean, I, I went to a, the first, you know, school that I went to. I was the only Latino in the class. Because now you know it's all Cuban. It's all Cuban. It's the trend. It's taken over. It's the trend to be yeah. Cuban in Miami. Now. But um, you, you asked me the question about exile. Yeah, and, and how does uh, that impact your life? Well, it creates kind of a... Because it makes you strong sometimes, right? Yeah, it does, but it, it splits your personality a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because you're, you're, you know, it's funny, I, I did an essay when I was in a sophomore in high school. An essay or an essay? An essay. Oh, an essay. E-S-S-A-Y. -S 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 oh, okay. I didn't know the word essay then. Okay. But uh, until I did Zoot Suit, but um, <laughs> essay. And it was about the fact that I had been in this country as long, I was 16, I had been in this country as long as I had been in Cuba. Oh. So I reached a, reach a uh, crossroads where I had been uh -huh. as long in this country as I had been in Cuba, and I felt kind of split, personality-wise, culturally, mm -hmm. between this culture that had received me and the culture that I came from, and I think that always stays with you um, somehow. This, this, you know, this culture, American culture, is so strong that it, oh, it, yeah. it, it just sucks you up, you know. And, oh yeah. Uh, I tell my friends who come from Mexico, I say, you know, the struggle is going to be keeping your Latin identity and Spanish because the American culture is a tidal wave. It will consume your child's life and his existence and if you, know, you don't try to give them some culture. And as a parent, I struggle with that all the time with my wife in terms of preserving the culture that we have inherited and passing it down mm -hmm. intact to the children. Just so people know, your wife is the... Mexican? Uh, yes, American. Mexican. Uh, uh, one of the star of the Brothers Garcia. Right, and she used to be star of Nurses. Exactly, uh, Ada Maris. Right. Ada Maris. Um, now, you told me that you were the oldest kid, and that was one of the reasons you, did ne you were not considering a career in acting, because you felt a responsibility that you were going to have to be like old world Latinos. You know, well, I was, uh, I was the first born uh, of an immigrant family. I was very successful in school. I was a good student. I loved learning. I mm -hmm. still do. Um, 
and uh, education has been my passion. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we lived very poor. I mean, we lived in an apartment building my entire life until I did Officer and a Gentleman and I finally bought a house for myself. Really? I mean, you know, we were poor. And, uh, and for me, and so I had a, a sense of responsibility, an onus of, 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 uh, of carrying the family. And, and so acting was such a precarious choice to make. Yeah. Career was. I tell people that has a lot to do with why sometimes Latinos don't pursue careers in the arts because it's not logical if you're, right. you know. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about the community and some of the fantastic things that you're doing through arts, your program Beyond Borders, and the East LA Classic Theater. And we'll be back with more Tony Plana on Cafe California. Mm -hmm.